Greetings, comic book friends. It is time for another edition of Previews and Chill, where we flip through the previews catalog and see where the night takes us. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, I am always afraid to go through previews because I fear that I will find stuff that I want to buy, and I uh, that is, as always, a problem. But... It's been a while, so I thought that uh, I'd go through it, and uh, of course there's no one else out there I'd rather look through previews with than, than you. Uh, so let's see what we got. Let's get through, let's get through all the ads. And Grim Tales from the Cave. Let's see, user's guide. I know how to use a previews. Let's see. Oh, do I have my pen? I do have my pen. Okay, good. All right. Uh-oh. Well, so... I did pick up the... Um, Garbage Pail Kids versus Mad Balls. Uh, which I thoroughly enjoyed. I think that I probably don't have much of a choice but to get this as well. Um, I'll I'll be sure to mark it when I get to the to the dynamite section. But oh man, it's classic. It's a classic atom bomb. Man, I wish I still had my Gubbers Pill Kids cards. All right, spotlights. Uh, okay, Image Comics, Junkyard Joe. It's Jeff Johns. I was gonna say this. Like immediately has like a Geiger feel to it. Oh, from the explosive pages of Geiger. Come chunk Jar Joe. Hmm. I did really like Geiger. Oh, I see. Oh, so this is part of the whole universe. Huh. Well, I will continue. I will continue reading the Geiger verse, I suppose, with Junkyard Joe. See, already, already, I'm in trouble. Uh, Dark Ride, Haunted Roller Coaster. Welcome to the scariest place on earth. Looks like it might be fun, but. Three keys. Sounds familiar. This is must be. Burger fans of Buffy. I don't know. Hitomi. Oh man, the Momoko cover. That's beautiful. Um, yeah, that looks kind of cool. Can't do it. Can't do it. Love sick. Uh, interesting. Revolvers. Let's see. Another. So this is this is I've I've talked about this um, recently somewhere. Like look at look at all the limited series, and I'm noticing this with my uh, my pull list in that the large percentage of it every week happens to be. Um, limited series because <clears throat> uh, that's like whether it be an image or indie or DC and, and Marvel it's just a swell of limiteds and I think this is with no research whatsoever just my my thoughts I suppose um, that they're they're less risk maybe for the publishers, like, I think I think I think I I, I mentioned this in a comment um, in one of my videos uh, recently, or um, you know if 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 a if a new ongoing series come, comes out and I give it like three issues and I don't like it, 
I'll just drop it because I don't want to be in it for the long haul. But if it's like a five or six issue limited series and I'm in for three issues already, I'm more than likely I'll finish it out. So by having like these six issue stints, I think they're probably more likely to sell more comics in the long run. That's that's my guess. I, based on nothing whatsoever <laughs> aside from, you know, my my theory. But I don't know. If, if anyone else has a um, a better theory on why we're getting overwhelmed with um, limiteds lately, please please let me know. Uh, let's see. I do get the Noctera stuff. Of it. Uh, I'm going to mark that to make sure that um, sometimes it's with these like one shots off of existing series. It's kind of hit and miss on whether it automatically gets uh, ordered for me or not. So I'll be sure to mark that one. Um, looks interesting. Sea Serpent's Air. Hmm. What if you were destined to destroy the world? For Ayla, life on Kinnaman Isle is completely boring. She dreams of life beyond the horizon, even as she spends her days fishing and mining her ants. Everything changes, however, when she awakens an ancient evil within herself. Zir, the spirit of the serpent that almost destroyed the world. Worse yet, a fanatical religious organization has arrived on Kinnaman Isle to destroy Zir. As Ayla is forced to fight for her life, she'll discover that her entire world is not what it seems. Her ants know more than they let on. And what exactly does the infamous pirate queen want with Ayla anyway? Hmm. That actually sounds really good. Let's see. How much is it? $17? Uh, yeah, better not. Because it's a book one. How, you know, how many are, are you in for? Uh, let's see. So I read the first... I read the first issue of The Closet. This is only three issues? Because I, I got the first issue. I was like, I really like it. But um, I'm going to wait for it to come out and trade. I didn't know it was only three issues. But 104 pages? How does three issues take up 104 pages? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mark that because I want to ask about it. Um, let's see, and more trades. I, I, I got the first issue of Twig and I read it. I just, I didn't, it didn't do it for me. It wasn't bad, it just didn't really do anything for me. Mm -hmm. Creepshow, oh, that's fine. Ice cream man up to thirty three. I get. I've I've got a couple of these trades, and in like any horror anthology, horror anthology hit and miss, but they're really expensive. I feel the the ice cream man trades. They're like the price of a normal trade, but there's only four issues in them. Seems a little bit much. I think I read the first handful of issues of this and, and it just like I really wanted to like it and I guess some people do some people are really into Radiant Black they really really like it and that's great um, I just I, I couldn't I couldn't get into it uh, Silver Coin continues I think that was originally supposed to end at issue 12 I think but then it got turned into an ongoing which is great because it's awesome 
Stillwater. I need to catch up on trades for that. I think I have the first trade. Yeah, I'm way behind on that. I really, really like it, though. Now we're in boom. Uh, I think that I don't read a lot of boom stuff. You know, someone's killing children. Um, we only find them when they're dead. Probably other things. The thing that I like best about boom as a publisher is their paper quality. I like, I like the consistency of the cover a lot. It's just, there's something about it. It's very, very satisfying to hold. It seems it's, Kind of strange but um i don't know i just really really like reading through boom comics because it, it just adds to it for me so this is what was on the cover damn them all um, and this new dark supernatural thrill for fans of we have demons which i am and something's killing children which i'm sure following the death of ellie's uncle an infamous magician and occult detective the 72 devils of the Ars Goetia are mysteriously freed from the Infernal Realm. It's not up to Ellie to track down each of these exiled demons and damn them right back to hell by any means necessary. <sighs> hmm, that does sound interesting. Yeah, that's close. I'm close on that one. It sounds really interesting, but I just, I just need to, I need to not. Uh, Grimm was another one. I, I picked up the first issue and I was like, I just, I don't really care. It, maybe at some point if I, if I find like the first trade, like real cheap or something, I might pick it up to read the rest of it. But the first issue just, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, enough. Once in Future. So I've been reading Once in Future in trade. Um, and it is amazing. It's so, 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 so good. Uh, I think I've read up to three. Um, but maybe I should go ahead. No, I'll, I mean, it's, it's not going to be rare. I'll wait. I'll pick it up when it's time to pick it up. Instead of being forced to buy it by ordering it, being forced to buy it when it comes in at that time. It's not like I'm going to have a hard time finding it at any point. Um, Night of the Ghoul. Yeah, that's probably, probably something I'd enjoy in Scott Snyder. Shot in 1936, Night of the Ghoul. Wait, Shot in the Night of the Ghoul by writer-director T.F. Merritt was meant to sit beside Frankenstein and Dracula, the instant classic, but the legendary film never made it. Just before editing was finished, a mysterious studio fire destroyed the footage and killed the cast and crew celebrating at the rap party. Forrest Inman is a horror film obsessive who digitizes old films. Uh, yeah. I'm sure it's fine. I don't think I have any Dark Horse stuff right now. Hmm. hmm. I was reading Parasomnia. I didn't know there was another series on it. So that, that's one thing I don't like about like this, you know, Bunny Mask does it, I guess Parasomnia does it, where these, it's just a series of limiteds. So I read Parasomnia, it was like four issues. I didn't know this follow-up was coming out 
and it doesn't automatically carry over because it's a different title. So they lose on sales. Like, I'm not going to go back and, you know, have, my shops aren't going to have issue one of Parasomnia Volume 2. So, mm. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sure they do it for a reason. There has to be benefit to it. But for me personally, it usually means they miss out on sales. Dynamite. Okay, Garbage Pill Kids is in here. I have to remember that. Siren's Gate. Sharon Mayer. Am I supposed to know who that is? Red Hot Artist Shan oh, Shan oh, Shannon Mayer. Sorry, Shannon Mayer's covers. Uh, okay. Uh, it's so, uh, Sweetie. Candy Vigilante. Hmm. Hmm. And she's a vampire. Cool. All right, so this I need. There's no question. At last, the origin of the Garbage Pail Kids re is revealed. Does that count in the movie? Doesn't the movie have their origin? Like, they're basically just from space. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with that as an origin. human and they got turned into okay interesting uh ninjets okay. mm. Mm. of this stuff is for me lady hell I did go ahead and add that. So much Vampirella. Jeez. Let's see. A blaze. Most of it is a blaze. This is mostly. I don't know if I've ever read anything by. Put out by a blaze. Comics, graphic novels, print. What we got? Classic black light posters. Neat. Uh, let's see. Aftershock. Chicken Devils. Volume 2, number 1. Yeah. I, uh, is this Aftershock? I felt like maybe I read the first issue of this and meant to add it, but I didn't. Hmm. I'll have to look on my CLG app. See if I have it. And here it's Samurai Doggy. Jimmy's Little Bastards. Oh, Garth Ennis. Uh, let's see. Kaiju score. I think. No, I, have, I think I had the first couple issues of that. I don't think I ever. Not much further than that. Okay, let's see what else we got. <laughs> Invincible. Invincible's back, baby. People care about Invincible again. Uh, Ant Arctic Press. Archie. Man, Archie needs to start doing Mega Man again. So good. Avatar. Year Zero. Volume Zero. Prelude to a series of... Well, okay. Prelude to something I haven't read. Well then. Sacrament. Oh, Peter Milligan. The Exorcist meets Alien in the sci-fi horror story. In the year 3000, mankind abandoned Earth and fled into outer space. Now a disgraced priest 
called into action to perform an exorcism on a remote space colony is about to discover that no matter how far you run, you can't escape your demons. Peter Milligan. That actually sounds really good. That sounds really good. I'm going to ask about this. I'm going to ask about that. Got me with, got me with aliens. Exorcist means aliens. No. How do you, how do you say no to that? Um, blood fire. So cool. Boundless. Oh yeah, boundless. The yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what boundless is. Nothing wrong with it, but you know it is what it is. Not for me. No judgment, though. But it is—it is completely unapologetic, which I think is great. Um, let's see. Those are just random stuff. Flesh-eating cheerleaders from outer space. Dynamic forces. Don't care about any of that. Breath of the Giant. Some interesting design giant. Pantographics. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. This is magazines. Some magazines. I'm thankfully not seeing a whole lot. But then again, I haven't started going through the uh, what the Jodorowsky Library, the Saga of Alan Darms. Oh. I do love Jodorowsky. The fourth installment of the Jodorowsky Library collection. The fourth installment. The Lux matching boys presenting the iconic works of legend. The first time in English, the complete second book of the 80s fresco, the saga of Alondor. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't know this was a thing. I get I I really like um I really like uh what's it was the um shoot, what's this thing that was Metabarons. Metabarons. I love Metabarons. Highly suggest reading that. Um, the Inkle is good. Uh, yeah. Jodorowsky does some great stuff. Uh, Balaam's first cycle. It's just, wait, what is this? The must read spinoff of the best self in call visionary film director. Oh, I think this is just I think this is just the Meta Barons. It's not it's not a new Meta Barons. Yeah, Meta Barons bought off the in call, but the Meta Barons, that's Meta Barons is part of what got me um, back into comics after I stopped for a, for a long time. So good. So so good. Um, if you like Dune, Dune is like my favorite book series. Um, it's, it's very Dune inspired because he was originally going to direct Dune, a Dune movie, the 1984 Dune movie, but they ended up not doing it. But there's a whole, there's a whole movie about it. Jodorowsky's Dune. It's about how he was going to make that movie, but didn't. And, uh, Meta Barons is, um, very obviously influ heavily influenced by um, Dune. So I I I think I added this already, but I want to double check, make sure. There's actually confusion. I ordered a Legacy of Violence, and there's actually a like a book called The Legacy of Violence. It's like a history book about European Empire or something like that. And that's what they ordered, <laughs> and they got it in. I'm like, uh, 
No, I, I wanted to order Legacy of Violence, the comic book. Mm, it happens. If that's all that popped up, like, I, you know, sure. Let's see. Rick and Morty. It took Luke. No. Oni. Very anime inspired stuff. I don't know if I've ever read anything by Oni either. Not for any particular reason, it's just they just didn't really put anything, didn't put anything out that I was, I've been interested in. Uh, let's see, various books, art books, magazines, Spotlight on Stanley, A Life Centennial Edition. The Man Behind Marvel. That might be fun. The Definitive Biography of Marvel Stanley, now adapted for Young Readers. I don't know if I don't want the Young Readers Edition. No, but this is Stanley A Life. How did the university was bursting like this during like epic? Yeah, that's cool. Might be something to get at some point. history of Tajarian dynasty. Well, I saw this on the bookshelf the other day. That uh, um, at, uh, I think it was a Target. I didn't know there was a new George R. R. Martin Game of Thrones book out. It seems weird that he'd go back and write a prequel when he hasn't finished the main one yet. But I think I think maybe he said he's not going to. He's like the HBO series finished it, so I don't have to. These are fun. These I've, I've gotten a couple. I think I've gotten some Dark Souls um, trades. I do like those games. I haven't I haven't played uh, Elden Ring yet, though. I hear it is. It's what you expect. <laughs> I wish I wasn't. I wish. I wish there was a way to get the, just get caught up on Valiant <laughs> easily. Uh, I would really be interested in um, mindset. I did. I did add mindset. I really, really like that first issue. Really like that first issue. So I added that. Seems not date appropriate. <laughs> like Pacific Rim now, really? Xenoscope. Oh, Xenoscope is the other, the other, the other one that knows what it that knows what it is. Uh, let's see, digital manga. Kind of fluctuates. It's not really, not really my jam. Why is nose bleeding? Or her nose bleeding? Can't tell. Uh, yeah. It's... Again, no no judgment or anything. If manga and anime is your thing, it used to be my thing. It's just not my thing anymore. Um, so, I'm not going to waste the time going through it all. Is this. Manga, 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 manga. Apparel. Alright. Uh, that's probably nothing I need 
here, and we're upside down. Uh, Junkyard Joe. So now we start getting into what the toys and games and stuff. Hopefully, I don't find anything I'm interested in. I'm really, really super cutting back on this sort of stuff. Um, mostly because I'm running out of room, but also uh, I just, I don't know, I'm wanting, wanting to, to make sure that I enjoy the things that I already have. That's cool. I also don't like so these PVC. I don't know, I just, I don't like it. Does it just feel cheap? And I know, I mean, I get it. It's You get something that looks really good for that sort of price, but I don't know what it is. I just, I don't. I like, I like, I like the resin. I like the resin. These are fun. This chibi or Campbell-esque. I've gotten, what, three of those? I have a Hulk, a Thanos, and a Venom taking over Spidey. Um, I mean, that, that Nightcrawler is really cool. I'm just not a huge Nightcrawler fan, so. Holy crap. 1 6 scale, $880. Man, it's cool though. The Green Goblin's cool too. Oh man. I'm glad, you know, I, I have a couple statues. And the statues that I have, I, I got for super cheap. Like they just happened to be on sale or something, or they were just a really good price. But I'm glad that, like, statues isn't something I super got into because that stuff is expensive. And takes up a whole lot of space. A whole lot of space. Uh, Turtles versus Cobra Kai. That's kind of fun. Yeah, just... A bunch of crap. <laughs> a bunch of crap. These are kind of cool. These... Where they have the cover in the back. I mean, especially for those that don't take their pops out of boxes, I I do. Um, but I mean, so yeah, that, that, that'd be a reason to not take it out of the box, I think. Okay, now we're getting to the import stuff. Tom Barry. Oh, Moogle. <gasps> VV. VV's my favorite. I love VV. I'm going to go back and play Final Fantasy both 9 and 12 again. I think those are two of my favorites. I know they remade 12 or remastered 12 for uh, for the Switch. Um, but I don't think there's any sort of easy remastered way to play nine, unfortunately. Games and puzzles. Puzzles are something that I definitely do not need any more of. I still have, I have four that need to get put together. All right, so that's previews. Let's uh, go through DC Connect. This should be probably pretty fast because I don't get a lot of DC. I don't really get a lot of DC stuff, and the stuff that I'm interested in, I already get. I already get Batman. Uh, I don't need. I don't need a Riddler Year One in my life. Um, they're continuing Joker, the man who stopped laughing. I will probably not get that. Uh, Punchline. I will not get that. Not, a, not big into Harley. Don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, this I actually do want. <laughs> I, I do want Batman Incorporated. Shoot. Uh, I, like, I, I really like those characters. I, and I really like Ghostmaker. Uh, let's see. Swamp Thing enters the Battle of the Green Death. Death Crisis. The Deadly Green. Superman and Swamp Thing undercover the secrets of the Great Darkness. Is this a... Dark Crisis, I see. This is a thing. 
It's an event. Okay. DC and their freaking events. Don't miss the conclusion. What the fuck beyond? Uh, yep. Yeah. Don't. Oh. Oh. Stuff that's already all on there. And let's see. So. Uh, I, I heard the, the new um, Shazam. I'm guessing it's Mary Marvel. Um, yeah, Mary. I heard it's pretty good. I didn't, I didn't pick it up though. Fun. So we're going to have Kal-El. I get that. The other history of the DC Earth. This is this is really 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 good. If you didn't pick up the individual issues, I highly suggest um, getting this. Especially, if it's only twenty dollars. <gasps> Man, these issues were like eight or nine bucks each, and this is you get all of them for twenty. 256 pages, yeah. If you haven't read that, I highly suggest picking it up. It was very, very good. Very good. All right. So got out of there pretty easy. Um, Spider-Man, oh, what is this? What is this? I never read any Miracle Man. Spider-Man 1. What? The end of this. Uh, Merlin is back and he's not alone. Blah blah blah. blah, 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 blah. Allied with the most powerful beings known to the Spider Verse, the scariest Spider villain of all time is making his biggest play, and no Spider is safe, especially not the chosen Spider himself. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, boy. Well, I need this. And Dan Slot. I love Dan Slot. I love Dan Slot on Spider Man. Damn it. Alright, so I need that. Uh, I've not been reading that. I just put together a run of Dazzler. Original, original run of Dazzler. Excited to read it at uh, some point. Judgment Day, Judgment Day. Uh... And most of this stuff is like, you know, if I... If I want it, I've been reading it. Except this, Crypt of Shadows... The heroes of the Marvel Universe spend most of their time in the bright sun, flying high above it all, but every once in a while they venture into the darkness that lurks in the hidden corners of the world. There lurk the creatures, the monsters, the vampires, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Oh, it's a one-shot. It's a one-shot. That might be fun. I'll flip through it when it comes out. Midnight Suns. Strange Academy. Finals number one. What is this? Why is, is it this Strange Academy proper ending and is now going to Academy Finals? I'm going to mark that so I can ask about it. Uh oh! A century into the future, not much land remains on Earth. A combination of worse than. I'm just going to. Uh, climate and devastating war with the Kree has left the surface of the planet mostly inhospitable, with an ever dwindling population of air breathers and a profound lack of superheroes to protect them. Enter Namor, who these many years is no longer king of Atlantis, but ruler of the entire world. Yes, please. Yes, please. The Mystery of Ultra 7 Wild Cards. Spider Man. Deadly Neighborhood Spider Man. What is this? Dang it. What is reality and what is dream? What is science and what is magic? At the intersection of all this stands the deadly neighborhood Spider-Man. Peter Parker goes to Los Angeles, and what he finds there are definitely not angels. The demons waiting for Peter are going to test him like never before. One demon in particular, a very famous one from Marvel and X-Fans, might just eat Spider-Man alive. See, this is why 
I don't do this because I find stuff if I want and I buy it. Punisher War Journal uh, is this continuing? That's part of a part of the what the, the 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 ongoing right. It's not just separate from that. Um, Iron Cat, She Hulk has been fun. Ghost Rider, I'm thinking about dropping. Oh man, Defenders. Who doesn't love the Defenders? Savage Avengers has been fun. Variant so far has been fun. Venom I had to drop. I just... Nope. Just didn't care for it. Uh, New Fantastic Four has been super fun. Alien's been great. This looks like it's starting over as well, so I will ask about that. Uh, let's see. I think... It's been a while since either Hulk or Thor has come out, and has is the that crossover done yet? I feel like it's not done. Weird. Predator, I already, I already added that. Cause duh. Uh, let's see. And this is I'm not gonna do anything in here. I think at this point I'm just going to have to take take these to the comic shop to ask my questions. Instead of, as you do it over, ask questions over Facebook. Mighty. What's in here? What is in here? Tales to Astonish. Ah, I have all those. I've read all those. And it looks like that is it. All right. Well, that was previews for August. Um, it's you know it's about a week late, but better late than never, I suppose. Um, but let me know your thoughts. What do you think? Anything looks super cool? Um, did you order uh, uh, anything real exciting from uh, previews this time around? Let me know in the comments and like and subscribe. And of course, don't forget to make yours Titan. This video was brought to you by Titan Comic Pressing. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Titan Comic Pressing LLC.